Hey guys, and welcome back to another Kivi tutorial. So in today's video, I'm going to be going into creating like a very simple and basic drawing application. And all we're going to do essentially is I'm just going to have a square and I'm going to have that square move and just follow my mouse around the screen. And then if we press down, like it'll print a square or whatnot to the screen. Uh, this is just to introduce you to kind of the graphic system in Kivi. I don't want to go too far into this because it does get kind of complex. Uh, but this is a brief introduction to show you guys what you are capable of doing with it. And if you're interested in that, uh, let me know and I may make another video on this in the future, but I will leave the docs in the description so you guys can read through them. They're pretty self-explanatory in terms of how to create uh, different shapes and objects. What I'm going to show you here will give you enough of a foundation to, uh, I don't know, draw some basic shapes onto your screen or whatnot. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import uh, kivi.graphics, okay? And we need this just to be drawing, obviously. So from kivi.graphics, we're going to import uh, rectangle uh, with capital. And we're going to do the same thing here. So from kivi.graphics, and we'll import, uh, what was it, color. So the way that drawing works in uh, in Kivi is it kind of is based off of something called OpenGL. So if you guys have used OpenGL before, you'd be very familiar with how this works. If you haven't, don't worry, but essentially you have a canvas um, and that canvas contains drawing instructions and you can give instructions to the canvas, obviously, to draw different things. And then you can update those positions. Uh, it's a little bit different than how Pygame works in terms of you just draw something, it gets blitted to the screen, and then you have to draw over it if you want to get rid of it. Um, this is not, it doesn't work that way. So essentially, you don't have to draw over top of your canvas each frame. You can just update an instruction and it'll move that object accordingly. Uh, and you guys will see how that works in a second. So what I'm going to do here, and this is just based off of our last video as well, is I've just cleared this uh, KV file. We don't need anything in here. And all I'm going to do is actually just define an init in here because we're going to need to uh, do something in here. So we're going to say define init. Uh, and we'll do the same thing that we've done before. So we'll do quarks here. And then we're just going to have to call the super constructor. So super underscore underscore init. And then what was in here? Quarks, I believe. And then here we have touch and self okay so there we go we have our initialization and what we're going to do in here is we're going to draw a rectangle so the way that we draw anything um, and set up the initial drawing instruction is we say with and we say self dot canvas because this um this widget inheriting from widget actually has a canvas uh, property that we can use say so with self dot canvas and then here what we're going to do is we're going to say uh rectangle so we'll say self dot rect sorry equals rectangle and then we're going to give some properties for this rectangle so i believe i have to actually look here because i forget how you do this uh oh yes okay so all we have to do is just give it a position which is a tuple and a size which is a tuple as well so for my size i'll give it 50 50 and for my position we'll give it an initial position of zero zero so actually uh, before we go any further let's just run this and make sure everything's working Okay, so you can see that we have a nice little rectangle in the bottom left hand corner of our screen at zero zero. Okay, awesome. So that's working. So how do we change the color of this rectangle? So you might notice the only two uh, things that we can give this rectangle is a position and a size. So how do we um, give it a color? Well, it's actually kind of weird how you do this, but essentially you have to change the drawing color of the entire canvas before uh, you can change the color of an object. So well, that's why I imported color here. So what we have to do is we have to do like this color uh, and then is that how you do it? I think that's how you do it actually. And we're going to, I'm just going to copy this one in because I don't know what this color code is, but I believe this is red. So what you do here is you're going to give it R G B A. This is your alpha value. And then obviously you can specify the mode. So in this case it's mode R G B A. So when we do this, what we're going to be doing is changing the color of this canvas drawing um, and then this rectangle should show up red. So let's try that. And there we go. So now we can see we have a red rectangle instead. So if you want to mess around with the different colors here, you have to look up the codes because I don't know all the color codes for um, RGBA, but that's the mode that we're going to do. And this is how you change the color. So let's just mess around with drawing a few other rectangles just to see what happens um, and how we can change the color again and whatnot. So let's change the color. Let's just make this one. Uh, we'll copy this rectangle code. And let's just change our position to uh, 0, 300. Or let's actually just go 200, 300, see where that shows up. And go size of 150, and let's run that. Okay, so now you can see we're getting this kind of yellowish rectangle um, showing up in that position. And just notice if we resize here, right, 
how um, we will move down if we change and we will move to the left. But if we go right, nothing's going to happen. And that's because we're at a static position. And we're not dynamically placing this using like a root and whatnot. Okay, so just something to keep in mind there. All right, so there we go. We have those rectangles. So now let's actually make it so that uh, the rectangle follows our mouse around. So that's why I've left this on touch down, on touch move, on touch up events. And actually, we don't need this on touch up, so we can get rid of that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how we can change the uh, the property of our rectangles when we're moving. So I'm actually just going to get rid of this rectangle because we only need this first one. And the way we can do this is actually very easy. All we have to do is just say self dot rect dot position equals and then we'll just say touch dot pause. And now you'll notice that that's literally all we have to do so that when we click the mouse, it's going to go to that position. Now we're actually just going to do the same thing in on touch move so that if we hold down the mouse and move our rectangle around, it will follow our mouse as well. So let's try this. And we have the red square ready. I can click here and it'll follow my mouse wherever I go. Now, if I hold down, you can see that it's following uh, exactly where I go. And obviously we're printing out all the mouse motion events. Um, so that's pretty straightforward how that works. Now, obviously, there's a lot more things that you can do with this in terms of drawing. You can draw lines. So, for example, from Kivi dot graphics uh, import and we'll import line there. And if we want to draw a line to do that, you simply do line. And then I think you give it like a bunch of positions. I have to look on this thing because I forget. Yeah, so you say points like this points equals and then all we're going to do in here is just add a bunch of x y points so we can just say like 20 30 um 400 500 60 um 500 let's try that and just see what we get i have no idea what that's going to draw for us so you can see now we have a line going from the points that we've specified uh and you guys can mess around with that and obviously if you wanted to change the color of this line same thing you'd ha just have to redefine color up at top let's get rid of that and let's add one here and see what we get for our line color and now we're getting a green line starting here going up like that okay so i think that's all i'm going to show for just simple drawing now that's how you can kind of move stuff around in the next video i'm going to get into multiple windows so how we're going to go back into kind of gui stuff i just wanted to introduce you to this drawing it's not something i want to touch on a lot uh, and we're going to get into building a multi, uh, what do you call it, window GUI. So we can go from window to window. We can have our KV file and it shows like what's going to be on each window. So we can go do maybe a login form. And then when you log in, it'll show you what was I saying before, like your secret notes or something like that. OK, so with that being said, uh, that'll be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next one.